Each in His Own Tongue by William Herbert Carruth, 1859 to 1924. A fire mist and a planet, a crystal and a cell, a jellyfish and a saurian, and caves where the cavemen dwell, then a sense of law and beauty, and a face turned from the clod, some call it evolution, and others call it God. A haze on the far horizon, the infinite tender sky, the ripe rich tint of the cornfields, and the wild geese sailing high, and all over the upland and lowland, the charm of the golden rod, some of us call it autumn, others call it God. Like tides on a crescent sea beach, when the moon is new and thin, into our hearts high yearnings come welling and surging in. Come from the mystic ocean, whose rim no foot has trod. Some of us call it longing, and others call it God. A picket frozen on duty, a mother starved for her brood, Socrates drinking hemlock, and Jesus on the rood. <coughs> a millions who humble and nameless, the straight half, hard pathway plod, some call it consecration, and others call it God. Okay, so this is a poem by William Herbert Carruth. He was an American. Um, he was, uh, let's see, an educator. He, wa he was a professor of comparative literature at um, um, Stanford University. Um, and, okay, so, yes, he's... Uh, a, 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 an intellectual. He also worked uh, in Kansas University as well. So what's this poem about? I think this poem's quite interesting. It's um, talking about the everything in this world and different people have different opinions some people believe in e evolution some people believe in god notice every line every uh stanza finishes with and others call it god um i personally think that the fact that he finishes um the every every stanza with this I believe that he be he thinks that everything comes from God, but it could be from science. He's just looking at all of the different things over um, over the world, and I think he's wondering where they came from. Yeah, whether this is by chance or whether there is some. Uh, supreme being who has ordered this and given order to it so a fire mist and a planet it's like a mist of fire and a planet a crystal and a cell a jellyfish this is in the sea and a saurian a saurian is a lizard like a dinosaur that saw bit is the lizard and caves where the cavemen dwell so these are all things that have been on on the and are on the surface of the earth earth then a sense of law and beauty so yes then you see something that gives you an idea of law and then another with an idea of beauty and a face turned from the clod i think the clod here is a lump of mud so the um, human faces or all of these animals or all of this cr these creatures has come from the inanimate earth some call it evolution and others call it god so some think this comes from evolution others think that god made it all a haze on the far horizon a mist 
on the horizon the infinite tender sky so looking up into this beautiful sky the ripe rich tint of the cornfields so the cornfields which are ready for harvest and they the the rich tint the rich color when they're ripe and the wild geese sailing high this sounds like autumn and the uh, geese are flying uh, flying uh, uh, south and all over upland and lowland the charm of goldenrod so goldenrod is a is a plant with a, a bright yellow um, flower or a bright yellow sword of, uh, of flowers some of us call it autumn others call it God so some of us say that well this is just the way things are and other people say God made it like this like tides on a crescent beach so now he's thinking about the tide going up and down on a beach when the new moon is new and thin into our heart hearts high yearnings come welling and surging in so suddenly we have an overwhelming desire to have one thing or another thing come from the mystic ocean whose rim no foot has trod so the mystic ocean i think this is the reason the reason behind all this the reason behind life and nobody n knows where the mystic ocean is some of us call it longing so some of us call it the desire to know and others call it god a picket a guard frozen on duty so a guard standing there freezing cold a mother starved for her brood so a mother with lots of children she's starving but she she's starving because she wants her children to eat Socrates drinking the hemlock so Socrates drinking poison and ki and killing himself and Jesus on the rood the rood here is the crucifix so Jesus on the, on the cross and millions who humble and nameless the straight hard pathway plod so million and millions of people who are humble who live a good life and some call it consecration some call it the make it ma making life holy by doing the right thing and others call it God I think personally that um, uh, Caruth um, believes in God and I think he believes that uh, God has created all these things but he leaves it open for other people to believe what they will and where it comes from so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now each in his own tongue by William Herbert Carruth <laughs>